morning beautiful people welcome back to you live everything and wonder in today's episode we're gonna give you a full tour of this brand new camper van a sunlight v60 adventure edition we will be using this vehicle for 30 days and we will be driving all the way to Lisbon Portugal <music> This vehicle is one of the smallest motorhomes you can find on the market. It is only 5.95 meters long, 2.14 meters wide and 2.74 meters high. It has external light, winter tires and an awning. The Sunlight V60 Adventure Edition has a beautiful skylight in the front so you can see amazing panoramas. This is a Citroën Boxer which is the same of a Fiat Ducato. It is a 2.2 diesel engine, 140 horsepower. It has cruise control, manual six gears, uh, which coming up hills uh, here in our really steep uh, little road uh, in the mountains in Italy. I really enjoyed it uh, driving it. Uh, you can feel the power. It has uh, air conditioning, AC. I like this feature to plug your phone up here. You open it uh, like this. You put your phone and you lock it. Uh, you can use uh, Google Maps uh, or whatever you need. Uh, then you just open it back again. Everything folds down like that. We have a, a USB charger and a 12 volts uh, cigar socket charger as well. Plenty of room, plenty of space. This version comes without parking sensors and rear camera, which will put our parking skills to the test. My wife Sara will be out there telling me, come, stop, <laughs> because even if this van is the smallest, the shortest one you can get, for this amazing interior still uh, it, it's really useful to have a rear camera we're used to drive big rigs so we are used to drive big rigs uh, in uh, crazy places we will manage to do everything both of the front seats are swivel so you can turn them around and what i love and it's really comfortable we have two arm rests over here on both sides which makes this really comfortable when we are driving or just relaxing uh, with people in here and uh, a lot of people <laughs> yes a lot of people and I, I may say that the seats are quite uh, nice so we can see leather and then uh, this other fabric uh, kind of alcantara yes they are nice approved Plenty of space uh, to hang things uh, and uh, two cup holders over there, one more over here. Lots of coffee and tea. <laughs> yeah. Welcome, welcome home, guys. This is our beautiful camper van. This is our beautiful daughter, Luce. And we'll have now a full tour of the interior of the van. And I love this. Yeah, we have a retractable Step. We are inside the camper van. It is 1 meter and 95 tall, so it's pretty good the size, it's decent size. And what I love about this camper van is that it's very airy and we have three skylights. One above the seat, one above the dinette area and one above our bed. You can open the skylights, every window as blackout blinds and flight screens. Some of them also curtain, why not? This camper van sleeps two people comfortably in the bed in the back and travel four people because we have two seats here with seat belts and also isofix. So this will be perfect and easy uh, for Lucio also to travel with us. We can attach her car seat and it will be amazing. But in case you need it, this dinette is designed to turn into an emergency bed so it 
can sleep also three people. Some models of this camper van, they have a wardrobe here in this position. We have just a cupboard and then we have an additional seat. So of course you cannot travel on this seat, it's not designed for it, it's not legal to do this, but if you have an additional guest coming for lunch or for dinner, this is amazing. Oh, even for the two of us, it's amazing. And then you can pull the cable and you can use this as working station if you want to have more room for your legs. So in total you can eat here five people comfortably because with the two swivel seats, the two seats here and these additional seats, this is a nice dinette area for the size of this van that I remember you is less than six meter. So it's, it's very small. Luce, ciao amore! Do you want to go here? Oh! C'è un po' vedere. Let's see. Here? Are you happy? <laughs> Are you in control? <laughs> Do you want to drive? Do you want to drive the van? <laughs> Can I drive the van, mommy? Can I drive the van, mommy? Yeah, yes. so you want to drive over there. Here's where you drive, <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> She's already, let's go. Where do you drive, Luce? Where? Over there. The driver's seat. You don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Now we'll show you how to convert this dinette that sits five people into a bed. So first of all, we remove the table. We need to turn around the driver's seat. Put it all the way front. Yeah. Then Sarah will help me with that. It's kind of plain Tetris, guys. But this is what you have to do when you are... Leading the van. Yeah, and it's no place but there. Okay, thank okay. you. Sarah, my assistant. <laughs> we remove this. We remove this. Okay, I got it. Then... You lift over here, nice. all the way down there. This is a procedure that you never see in videos. I think it's very interesting to see how it is without, you know, make the video faster or time lapses. You have to see the, the real deal. Yes. So Sara, now I need the mattress. Yes. So here we have a little mattress that I will give to Luca. So you put this one over here, yeah. and you put this one over here, and you put this one right there. Okay, try it. Then you can put this uh, seat yeah, yeah, yeah. back. back. Uh, I'm uh, 182, so I fit uh, pretty well. Yeah, you have still some... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kid can also sleep this way. For example, Luce will fit in this space. This yes. is what we will be doing. She will be sleeping with us, or in this space, of course, we will close this and secure everything. But in case you have an adult guest visitor, instead of sleeping on the floor, yes, you have a, a nice bed. Yeah, it's quite fast. So when yes. you learn it, uh, then. Uh, it's not easy the first time because uh, you don't know what to do exactly. But then. And which piece, which part to remove first? Yeah, once you learn it, then it became faster. And what is interesting is that you can choose uh, if you want to put the table with uh, this thing over here, if you want to put the table more near. Let's say ah, you can over slide here. the table. Yes, and or change. put it like maximum over here, so you have more space on this side or mm -hmm. more space on that side. 
So obviously then when you're using the table up, you go like this. Mm -hmm. And this is the maximum because as you can see here, or you can go all the way close to the seat. Maximum is like this. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, we moved uh, this much. Uh, 10 centimeters. Yes. So depending on how close uh, you like the table, I, I believe if you need to work on the computer, having it uh, so close is perfect. Uh, Talking about the storage in the living area, we have a decent size cupboard here. So it's quite amazing, very spacious. Of course, there are locks on the cupboards here. So you avoid everything falling down while you are driving. So this is a must have in camper vans nowadays. I like the light colors, it's very modern. You have this light wood color with the white and the gray. As I mentioned before, we have a little cupboard here. We can use for Luce's clothes or Luce's diapers. Underneath our seat, we have also a very, very, very useful space to store shoes or some gears or something that you need that is very close to the door when you enter the camper van. Now let's move to the kitchen. We have a nice countertop and a very nice glass cover. And here we have two burning stove with a sink and a folding faucet with hot water and cold water. When you are cooking, you are frying something, you are cooking something, you can open this window and all the smell can go away just opening the window we have additional storage here and here they put some shelves to divide them so you can put more things inside it groceries food we have a huge fridge i mean thinking about the size of the van this fridge is huge there is also a freezer in here this is a 78 liters fridge and is a three-way fridge that means that it runs on propane 220 and 12 volt here we have a drawer for cutlery and here oh nice there is a very small bin and room for the pans this camper van is the same size of our van but there are two main differences. Of course, there are a lot of differences, but <laughs> let's talk about the bed and then the bathroom. We don't have a bathroom. This camper van has a full, full, full bathroom with shower and the toilet. And I think they're pretty brilliant how they design everything in here. So right now I'm entering the bathroom. There is a mirror. We have a sink and a faucet and then we have the toilet here and a nice cupboard for all the products and it's very spacious now then I will record also with the GoPro if you want to just turn this space into a shower room with just one click here I push and I magic I'm turning this space into a full shower now I am in the shower the toilet is covered and you have also here you have a skylight that you can open so when you go to the toilet or after the shower you can ventilate this room and it's amazing we still have to try to take a shower inside a van actually also in uh, uh, Lucky Liu, our truck camper in Argentina, we have a bathroom with a shower and a toilet. We never use it. So this will be first time for us. Beautiful. Ciao. And what is also smart, you can hang your clothes here inside, back and if the van is not perfectly leveled, 
you have two shower drains in here one on this side and one on the other side so the water will be draining perfectly even if you're not in the perfect position let's see with the gopro we are going inside the shower room with luce Ooh, we can pick the two of us wow and it's very spacious this bed is transversal it's a little bit smaller than ours but uh, i mean you get a full toilet uh, so a full bathroom so it's good you have the ladder you have this ladder to, to get climb. up here you have this beautiful skylight uh, which you can close uh, yeah, with mean. the blinds yeah so we were talking about curtains uh, another window yes uh, and this bed is one meter thirty this side, one meter forty on the other side because this is the shape here. Then it's one meter and ninety long. Yeah, so it's pretty long. It's pretty long. You sleep this way, so that's why you have the the room to build the full bathroom. Yes. In our van, we sleep this way, so the the bed is pretty big and long. It's huge, but we don't have the bathroom. Lots of storage over here, and uh, let's see. One over here, and one mm -hmm. over here. Yeah, and then some two lights uh, to read uh, during the night. And then we have the curtain to separate. The yeah, you can close over here. Yeah. Okay, so you can have some some privacy. A safety future. Also. This is very smart and I like it. Yeah, especially if net. you are one of those uh, like uh, many people who during the night uh, you move uh, a and lot, roll. you roll, and this will save you from uh, falling down. They're not used to sleep in an elevated bed. This is mandatory, so you Yeah, this are will safe. hold you and uh, save you from falling down. What, the kitchen or the GoPro? I think the GoPro, right? <laughs> you like your friend, GoPro friend, yeah? <laughs> GoPro! <laughs> There is also a nice mirror and then we have to talk about the storage that we have underneath the bed yes two storage yes because one you can have access from inside the van and the other one from outside the camper van i will show you first this one we have a wardrobe or whatever you like in here and it's very big I think you can fit in there, Sarah. I can fit, should I try? Yeah, go in there. If you're cla claustrophobic, probably not. I but am. <laughs> Let's see if we can fit Sarah in there. Don't leave me here, okay? Ciao, ciao. Ciao. <laughs> oh, it's dark. Yeah. <laughs> it's turned the light off. Yes, so, so you can fit two Sarahs <laughs> in here. <laughs> Up here we have the main control. Now we are plugging uh, at Lucky Land, uh, so we are charging and we have uh, 220 volts. We have three main uh, 220 volt uh, sockets, so we can connect directly outside. Mm -hmm. uh, here in the dinette we have uh, a 12 volt uh, USB charger. We have uh, two lights down there. One light over here, a huge light up here, two lights uh, over here, and a uh, socket uh, 220, and two lights over there for when you're sleeping. We can check uh, how many volts we have, uh, how is the state of our battery. We can see the fresh water and the 
grey water. Of course both of them are empty right now, we will fill it up. And uh, this van uh, it comes without solar panel so we will need to plug in uh, in some campsites and uh, we are pretty excited to hit the road. Over here we can see the Truma Combi heater which uh, we can uh, heat uh, inside uh, with uh, warm air and also we can heat the water so we can have uh, warm and hot water for the shower, for the sink, uh, for the kitchen. So it's always nice to have hot water. Especially with, with this little baby girl baby. over here. <laughs> she loves hot tub. So I think we will bring our foldable tub for her. So you can have also your your tub, your bathtub, even in <laughs> in the van, even on the road. Are you excited, Lucia? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we can stand with Lucia. We can also walk a little bit. Evening. So I'm not concerned about it. It was so bad in Luigi in our very small van. She was four months old when we traveled in Germany, Austria, and it was quite uncomfortable. But now with this van it will be totally different. It will be one month on the road. Yes. So your first adventure, baby Lucia. Do you like it? Van? Did you say van? <laughs> van? Van? Did you say van? Here is where we can have access uh, to remove uh, the set toilet. Yes, so when we will use the toilet, uh, here is where we will dump uh, everything out. Uh, this is new, never been used. Over here is where you refill the potable water drinking water okay really important here is where we have the two propane tanks uh, they are 11 kilos each this is the connector and hopefully in Portugal or Spain we will find uh, the adapters to refill it every country in Europe uses different yeah, they have uh, different regulations uh, or they have different uh, adapters uh, to fill them out. Yeah. So we'll figure that out. Uh, on the road. On the road, uh, later on this adventure. So subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell because uh, you will see our trip. Uh, and uh, I love the fact that this huge garage uh, has uh, the double access. So from both sides so from this side you can see you can fit a motorcycle in here so it's so really under the bed on the other side you can fit two saras and here you can fit a motorcycle a three bicycles <laughs> I will keep, yeah I will keep this open so yeah this garage can fit a motorcycle or two or three e-bikes yes you will fit the motorcycle from here okay. because you don't have uh, the gap you have down there. So on this side is where you will be loading your bicycles, your motorcycle, because as you can see here, it's a uh, much, it's bigger. And we will be loading the stroller, Lucha stroller in here. So this is very important and very useful when you have a baby, or even if you don't have a baby, having a garage this size with a camper van this size, so, so small, is a big 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 plus we yeah. have a 
220 volt uh, plug uh, mm -hmm. over here so if you need to charge a uh, uh, bicycle e-bike uh, here there is a huge storage uh, wow and it's also heated because i, I can see here the yes black. it's heated uh, mm -hmm. and also we have a light over here that we can turn on beautiful and this is the bed this yes. is one side of the bed and this is the storage the wardrobe that we show you inside so this one here's where you plug uh, to the power i like how you can anchor every single door in this van uh, so when uh, there is wind uh, they will be nice uh, attached over there mm -hmm. There is a screen, fly screen here, and of course uh, we already show you this. Uh, the I, step. I love the it. Step. Yeah. It's amazing. Nice. Outdoor light. Uh, we are literally loving this camper van guys so make sure to subscribe so you will not miss a video of our 30 days adventure all the way to lisbon portugal if you enjoyed today's episode please sure to us smashing the thumbs up button and hit the notification bell so you won't miss a video of Liu, live everything in wonder luca sara and luce so this is not our vehicle but we will be using this vehicle for 30 days for our road trip through italy france Spain and Portugal we still have second chance but we would like to say a huge thank you to sunlight for this amazing opportunity yes uh, yeah we can't wait to show you more guys so stay tuned we love you we appreciate you thank you for coming along with us and we will see you next Sunday and remember la vita bella life is beautiful and love always wins <laughs> Boom, boom, boom. It's tripod. It's your friend tripod. It's tripod. Yeah. <laughs>